Welcome aboard, Cody. If you win tonight, not only will you be NLW champion, but you will defend the title at WrestleMania in a triple threat match against both Jeff Hardy and Finn Balor. Good luck. You'll see that you made the right choice. tonight when John Cena takes on the debuting Maxwell Jacob Friedman MJF. We've also got the debut of The Doctor. Rip Baker DMD takes on Becky Lynch before Lynch faces the Kabuki Triad in a 3-on-1 gauntlet match at WrestleMania. And in our main event this evening, Conor McGregor signed to be the special guest enforcer. The EVP of NLW Triple H steps in the ring for the first time since taking control against Drew McIntyre, but our opening contest for the NLW Championship is Jeff Hardy defending against the turncoat. The mole for NLW, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. wrestling and he did it for the money he did it for the power he did it for this championship opportunity tonight after he couldn't defeat Roman Reigns and the fans letting him hear it Randy Rhodes even seems to be taken aback by it but Cody has to focus in this championship match and Jeff Hardy is scheduled to defend that championship at WrestleMania against Finn Balor if he can defeat Cody Rhodes here tonight. But this is what happened last week. Finn Balor was jumped by The Undertaker in disguise. And look what happens to The Fiend. Burned alive by The Undertaker. Jeff Hardy, meanwhile, signing the contract for his and Balor's title match in the blood of Finn Balor. And now, Finn Balor hasn't been seen in an arena since. And as for The Fiend, well, God only knows what his condition will be when The Fiend is set to go one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker in Hell in a Cell at WrestleMania. Of course, at this moment, 
It is supposed to be Jeff Hardy versus Finn Balor for the NLW Championship. If Cody wins, if Cody wins the championship tonight though, he will be added and it will be a triple threat at WrestleMania. And you know Cody Rhodes is going to be hearing it from these fans. They do not respect the decision that Cody made to turn his back on metal wrestling and essentially throw them all under the bus. And they go for a Cody cutter, but look at this. Jeff Hardy with a twist of fate. And Brandy Rhodes trying to cheer on Cody at ringside. And now Hardy going to run to the top rope. Going to go for the swat on early, but Cody moves out of the way. And Cody Rhodes moves just in the nick of time and... It, 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 it. Jeff Hardy with the roll up, oh my god. And Cody's complaining about the decision, but I don't think he's seen what was happened to his wife. I, I'm sorry folks, I, I'm in shock. Look, we've just seen him. Well, here's the Undertaker to chokeslam Cody Rhodes and we're clearly not satisfied with burning the Fiend alive last week. Takes his aggression out on Cody. Oh, oh what the hell is that? What, what is that? sell at Wrestlemania and Jeff Hardy he's as freaked out as we are look up, up behind him behind him it's the demon the demon has risen and he wants the NLW Championship. Well, Jeff Hardy told him, Finn Balor, if you want to be champion, you will have to unleash a demonic force. And that's exactly what he's done. Will Balor win the championship at WrestleMania? And will this man still be employed after WrestleMania? He faces Shawn Mike. Whoa! Shawn Michaels nearly running him over! Oh no no! I am not having you ruin tonight, Kenny! I don't want you anywhere near me until I beat you at WrestleMania! Security, get him the hell out of here! Uh, Max, in just a few minutes, you are gonna maim and embarrass John Cena in your first NLW match. Look, as someone who's beaten Cena single-handedly more times than I can even count, I just want to give you some advice. Just be careful. He may walk around like he's some sort of compassionate company man, but he's no pushover. With all due respect, Adam, I can do without your advice. I know you've had your battles with him, and you'll get to beat him up alongside me at WrestleMania, but tonight, just leave it to me. I know what I'm doing. In the meantime, take a look at this. You see that? Hangman Adam Page. He was going to be in Cena's corner tonight, and now look at him. 
drinking alone in a bar somewhere in this stupid city. Medals down a man, and after I'm done with Cena, it's only a matter of time before they all fall. Yeah, exactly, Max. Give them hell! Oh, shoot, Kyle. How's it going, man? What did you mean single-handedly beat John Cena? And what did you mean last week when you said we dropped the ball, huh? Uh, look, Kyle, I, I just felt you could have... No, 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 Adam, save it. Just because Triple H picked you for his team at WrestleMania doesn't mean you're suddenly better than the Undisputed Era. I never said that. Look, you've been hanging around Kevin Owens and Brian Danielson more than you've been hanging around me, Bobby and Roddy. What the hell's going on, man? Kyle, I have been chosen for the biggest match in NLW history. A match where we will end metal wrestling once and for all, baby. And I'm doing this for the Undisputed Era. So you better be grateful. Oh, really? Grateful? How about... You be grateful for Bobby Fish helping you beat John Cena. How about you be grateful to Roderick Strong for helping you beat Stone Cold? Hell, be grateful to me. I got thrown off a cage for the Undisputed Era at Revival. And you have the nerve to tell us all that we dropped the ball? Who the hell do you think you are? Is this guy bothering you? Uh, not at all, Brian. Come on, let's go strategize for WrestleMania. Well, strategize they will. Kyle O'Reilly clearly not happy with Adam Cole's comments last week. And well, no one's going to be happy that this guy's out here now. Here comes this scumbag, I guess. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first Wiley, out of Rainview, Long Island, New York, weighing in at 226 pounds, Maxwell Jacob Freeman MJF. And tonight, MJF makes his debut here at the Norfolk Scope. And his opponent, none other than the former NLW champion and Metal Wrestling's saviour in many ways, John Cena. John Cena and MGF will be on opposite sides of the ring in that huge NLW versus Metal Wrestling match at WrestleMania where Metal Wrestling's livelihood is on the line. And Cena is going to do everything in his power to make sure that Metal does not go out of business. And his opponent, flying in out of Western Green, Massachusetts, weighing in at 250 pounds, John Cena. And tonight, John Cena looks to make an example out of a man who has taunted him for months. MGF steps into the ring against John Cena, and it happens next. Orton's just kind of writhing around. Randy Orton looks like Mr. Tickle, and I can't explain. You know the way he moves? Quite. Mr. Tickle? Yeah, because he's fluid. He's fluid. You know, like Mr. Tickle's got his long arms, and Randy Orton's quite snaky, quite... Uh, wiggly. Someone needs to photoshop Randy Orton's face onto Mr. Tiggo. What epic encounter. I think it's time that the Antichrist gets taken down a peg by the Prince. That no one could have imagined. Finn Balor could take the NLW title to metal. Has become reality. Jeff Hardy. The Prince is no match for the Ministry of Darkness. Finn Balor. I am the absolute best metal has, and I will become NLW Champion. NLW WrestleMania, live on YouTube. Welcome back to No Limits Wrestling, the last episode before WrestleMania. As John Cena teeing off on MGF, but MGF with the eye rake and a clothesline to the back of the skull. And now throwing Cena out of the ring and assaulting him just like he did on Metal this past week during that beatdown and destruction of Metal's arena. And MGF now not looking for a pile driver on the floor. Wants to take out John Cena, but a backdrop. And as you heard, Hangman Page was scheduled to be in the corner of John Cena tonight. However, after what happened this past week, Hangman Page seemingly walking out of Metal Wrestling. And now he is here in his hometown, but he's not at the arena. As John Cena jumps off the top for a leg drop, but gets caught with a powerbomb. 
and you wonder if Hangman Page is watching in that bar as Cena powers out. Well, then Jeff can't quite believe it, but Cena gets his shoulder up at two. He went for the leg drop here, and MGF had it scouted. Remember, this is MGF's first match in an LW. He's waited an entire year to actually step into the ring. And there is no bigger opponent than John Cena. And he has the time to show these fans what he thinks of them here tonight in Virginia. And of course, still to come tonight, Drew McIntyre and Triple H, who will also be in the same match as these two. They're going to go one-on-one, -on -one, but right now, MJF taking a page out of Cena's playbook. Oh, but instead, just marking the Doctor of Thugonomics. And of course, it's no secret, MJF wants metal wrestling to end just because he likes to see people suffer. But you see now, John Cena, you can't see me fight like a shuffle. And John Cena waits for MGF, but MGF wants no part of Cena. And a cheap shot from MGF. And now, what's the attitude adjustment? But Cena turns around, and Cena with the STF. And it's applied in the centre of the ring. MGF has nowhere to go. Oh, but look at this, he's biting the hands and raking the eyes and any opportunity MGF can take. And now he's logged in that armbar, the salt of the earth. The salt of the earth logged in on John Cena. Is Cena going to tap out here tonight? Wrenching back, but now rolls it through with a kick out. And now MGF looking for the heat seek of that pearl driver. But Cena blocks it. Cena holding his spine and what the hell's this? MGF got something in his tights. Oh, he's got that diamond ring. The diamond ring he used to knock out Cena on metal and look at this. Falls into the referee. Referee's down, oh for God's sake! Kevin Owens with a stunner, and MGF with a diamond ring. Here is your winner, MGF! MGF with that diamond ring shot to the back of the scholar John Cena, and it's Kevin Owens with the assist to ensure that MGF wins his debut match here tonight. Just one episode before WrestleMania, where well, they'll be on opposite teams. Is this a sign of things to come, you wonder? Well, he nearly tapped out in the STF. MGF tried to get the upper hand with that diamond ring, but then held on to the referee for dear life, and that allowed Kevin Owens to sneak in behind and hit the stunner on John Cena. And you know Triple H is watching backstage with a big grin on his face as he prepares to face Drew McIntyre later. Well, MGF can celebrate. His victory here tonight, but Cena's fuming. What the? Oh my. Maybe turn around. It's John Moxley. John Moxley disguises that cameraman. And now security making chase. MGF may have won the battle, but the war is far from over. There's nothing I can say to make this right. I should have trusted you. Hell, I'll let Triple H get in my head, and now, here we are. Look, I don't blame you for walking out. Hell, I would have done the exact same thing if I was in your shoes. So I guess our team at WrestleMania is short one man now, huh? Now I could get a replacement. I could pick anyone I wanted, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to give you till the end of the show. You can either show up and raise some hell. Not for me, but for the fans that have stuck by you since the moment you arrived. We need you, Hangman. Or you can sit here and drown your sorrows. The choice is yours. But I'm on my way to the arena.
So obviously an ultimatum from Stone Cold Steve Austin. Either join the fight or stay and drown your sorrows. I hope they can get on the same page for the sake of professional wrestling. Because what Triple H has done to this company is not on. And speaking of what's not on, Jushin von der Liger has been terrorising NLW recently. Except, is it Jushin von der Liger? Because it turns out there's an imposter in the mix. Take a look back at this. Lightning vs Thunder recap of the Jushin von der Liger saga. ベンセツがスタイリッシュにお辞儀をします。スタンディングオベーションに戻るだけです。しかし、You know what, Jushin Liger is a top talent, and we would be honored to have him in XL Pro. Speaking of which, if you didn't see it, well, I'm here to tell you. I'm Eddie Kingston, the Mad King, the new matchmaker for XL Pro, Extra Limitless Pro Wrestling, who have entered an agreement with whoever wins at WrestleMania to ensure a partnership with No Limits Wrestling. This is a new fight league. We are here to show what the future of MMA and professional fighting can be. We're here to find the best professional fighters in the world. We've already got Brock Lesnar, Batista, Matt Riddle signed up, and hell, I'm here tonight to scout who could join XL Pro in the future. Maybe John Cena, maybe Drew McIntyre, maybe MJF, any NLW and Metal Stars are welcome to fight. This new league is gonna start after WrestleMania, and trust me, you do not want to miss XL Pro. Certainly an exciting time to be an NLW fan with the announcement of this new promotion, XL Pro, which will start after WrestleMania. For more information, check out the announcement video now on the channel. And, well, time for some women's division action. The following contest is scheduled for a long fall. Introducing first Friday out of Dublin, Ireland, this is the man, Becky Lynch. And Becky Lynch at WrestleMania will go up against the Kabuki Triad. That's Asuka, Io Sky and Kyrie. She will fight all three of them in a gauntlet match. After what they've done to her, taking her out of action for months and finally, she will get her payback. But first of all, she needs to go one on one with a woman handpicked by Paul Ellering to take her out. And her opponent fighting out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, this is Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. Britt Baker fixed Paul Ellering's jaw after Becky Lynch punched his lights out, and now Becky Lynch must face Britt Baker one on one tonight. Of course, Paul Ellering. Wait a minute! What the hell? Paul Ellering! Oh, and again! Gets knocked on his ass by Becky Lynch. And now, Ronda Rousey with the title belt across the spine. Rousey and Shayna Baszler attacking Becky Lynch. And now coming down the ramp is the Kabuki Triad. Now, we are evil. And what does he mean by that, now we're even? Does he mean that Ronda Rousey was the woman who set the Kabuki Triad onto Becky Lynch all those months ago. Well, now Paul Ellering instructing the Triad to attack Becky before their match at Mania. And Riho's up in the stands. She's supposed to face Rousey at Mania. How's she going to get down from there to help? Oh my God! Riho diving from the rafters! Riho 
jumping. Oh, the crowd. Onto the Puella bodies. Saving Becky Lynch, the Metal Wrestling Knockouts Champion. Wants more title gold. But will she get it at WrestleMania? It's Rousey versus Riho. Champion for champion. Winner take all. And that, oh, hang on a minute. What is this? It's the Death Triangle. Is that Darby Allen they're putting in that body bag? What the hell's going on? Oh my god! The Lucha Brothers just dumped Darby Allen off that balcony in a body bag for a table. And the hardcore champion is seriously injured here. Two demonic monsters. If the Undertaker cannot beat the Fiend, he is out of the ministry. Trapped inside Satan's prison. What will the Fiend do inside Hell in a Cell? The Undertaker, Bray Wyatt, will rest in peace. The Fiend. All you have to do is let me in. WrestleMania, live on YouTube. Hangman, I think you know that I got fired last week, but if I could take your place at WrestleMania and fight to take down Triple H, I would, but my contract has a no-compete clause. Adam, I know you think that you're not good enough, but you know, people said the same thing to me my entire life. They said I was too small, not man enough to hang with the biggest wrestlers in the sport. But I proved everyone wrong, and I kept fighting. And when no one believed in me, I kept going, and I made them believers in a Rey Mysterio. We've both been underdogs. Look at Metal. Nobody expected that they would compete, but look what happened. This is about pride, integrity. Triple H doesn't care about that. His values are corrupt, and I know it pisses you off more than anyone. That's not what cowboy sh** is all about. Is it? It's about fighting with honor. No matter what, when you get knocked down, you get back up. You can go into WrestleMania and you can get your ass kicked, but Hangman, there's no honor in not fighting at all. <laughs> Look at him, Connor. How pathetic. And now I've taken care of Kenny Omega. He's not getting involved. Hangman's gone too, so now you can focus on your role as the enforcer in tonight's main event between Drew McIntyre and Triple H. Sean, don't worry, I've got this under control. I'll knock down CM Punk on metal and I'll do the same thing to him at WrestleMania. Matter of fact, I'll do the same thing to anyone who tries to interfere in this match tonight. And I'll even call it right down the middle. And if anyone was to step out of line, just know, I'll take care of him. Wink, wink. Well, McGregor gearing up to be the special enforcer for our main event tonight between McIntyre and Triple H. Of course, they'll be on opposite sides of the ring at WrestleMania too. Speaking of which, at WrestleMania, we're going to have an eight-man Money in the Bank ladder match. Jungle Boy, Will Ospreay, Ricochet, AJ Styles and Shingo Takagi have qualified from NLW. And last week, we found out that not only will three metal wrestlers be involved, they are also being led by MVP in what is being called the Hurt Business. Could it be one of Monty Brown, Shinsuke Nakamura, or Jonah that ends up with a title shot? Only time will tell, but uh... Seth Rollins! You are in big danger, my friend. I don't want to wait to kick your ass at WrestleMania. But since I know you're still stuck in that wheelchair and Edge is too much of a coward to fight me, how about you send out the big man that you paid to lay me out? Carry and cross! Come out here now, or I'm gonna go back there and drag you out here myself. And Keith Lee calling out the hitman, who unfortunately took out Randy Rhodes earlier tonight. And now Keith Lee is going after him, and I, I honestly, I don't know if this is wise. Oh, wait, is, is that Cross? 
No, it isn't. It's the visionary, Seth Rollins. Keith, I am not in danger. I am the danger. And come WrestleMania, I will put you through the same pain I put myself through for all of your sins. For the greater good at WrestleMania, you will accept me as your Messiah. Well, Seth Rollins has clearly gone mad with power. He believes his own hype and his followers do too and that is scary. Edge had his career saved by Seth Rollins and now he's indebted to him. And it appears that Seth Rollins wants to do the same thing to Keith Lee come WrestleMania when it's champion versus champion. Are you ready? It's time to play the game. And our main event is up next. But we have to talk about WrestleMania and the huge action going down on that show. We've got the buy-in for NLW WrestleMania, which will feature a bunch of exclusive matches, including this one, winner take all, force count anywhere, X Division title, hardcore and tag team titles, all of them on the line, Death Triangle versus War Machine and Derby, plus Lightning versus Thunder, Jushin Liger versus The Imposter, who will hope to find out who it is at WrestleMania. Also, the gauntlet match between the Kabuki Triad and Becky Lynch. Lynch must win two out of three to win this matchup. And on the main card, we've got Money in the Bank, as we talked about earlier. Ricochet, Jungle Boy, Will Ospreay, AJ Styles, Shingo Takagi, Monty Brown, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Jonah. One of them will get the world title opportunity in that briefcase. As we've just seen, Seth Rollins has gone mad with power. He believes himself to be a messiah, but will Keith Lee bow down or will Keith Lee overcome Seth Rollins at WrestleMania? It's women's title versus knockouts title. Winner take all. We saw the lengths Riho will go to to take out Rousey earlier tonight and now we just have to wait and see who will be leaving with the gold at Wrestlemania. Speaking of gold, metalweight title on the line, Roman Reigns and Walter challenging Samoa Joe in this big meaty triple threat match I cannot wait and also no disqualifications, Conor McGregor versus CM Punk. We are still yet to hear from CM Punk after the weigh-in where he was punched in the liver by Conor McGregor. And of course, Kenny Omega versus Shawn Michaels. The loser of this matchup will leave NLW. Will it be Omega or will it be Michaels? We'll find out at WrestleMania. And we'll also find out what the condition of the Fiend will be. He did return earlier tonight, burned up, but still ready to fight The Undertaker. If The Undertaker loses, the Ministry say he is out of the Ministry. And for the NLW Championship, the Demon has risen and he will challenge Jeff Hardy for the NLW Championship at WrestleMania. And it's five versus five, an elimination match in the main event. The winning team has control of everything. Stone Cold or Triple H, one of them will be in charge of everything come WrestleMania. And we're here in Virginia, but we can only hope that Hangman Page will come to his senses. Oh, sh I am in no condition to drive. I'll give you a ride, cowboy. Well, he's back. Ricky Steamboat looking to bring Hangman to the arena here tonight, and well. I've got a guest on commentary. Can please shut the hell up? Because we have a main event to call, and I'm going to call it right alongside you. Well, I guess I've got no choice. Then right, you've got no choice. Pull the action. Well, as Conor McGregor makes his way to the ring, I just got to ask you, Sean, why did you book him as the enforcer in this main event? Well, it's simple, Cadbury. The fact of the matter is, there is nobody more qualified to take care of the action than a former UFC champion, a legend in MMA, Conor McGregor. You see Conor McGregor being told by the referee 
what to do in this contest. And now here comes the game. Look at him come out here now. He is the game, he's my best friend, and he is your boss. So I would very much be wary of how you speak about him right now. Well, I'll tell you what, regardless of what I personally think of him and your management style, to be honest, I have to admit that Triple H, he's a veteran of the game, no pun intended. And with Conor McGregor as a special guest enforcer, you got to wonder what tricks they're going to pull here in this main event against Drew McIntyre. I don't know what kind of tricks you think he's going to pull. The only trick he's going to pull is beating Drew McIntyre into a bloody heap here in the centre of this ring. Well, be that as it may, Triple H is ready, but so is his opponent. the game with a massive shot Triple H flies out of the ring oh watch out buddy McIntyre over the top McIntyre with a tope onto the game Drew McIntyre you're nothing well he certainly is something here tonight what's going to happen after the break in this main event Two wrestling dynasties. There is only room for one wrestling company in this world. A collision unlike any other. The wrestling landscape will never be the same again. Winner take all. No Limits Wrestling. I want you and your company to be dead and buried. Metal Wrestling. Metal is gonna kick your ass and that's the bottom line cause Stone Cold said so. WrestleMania, live on YouTube. Our main event continues, Conor McGregor, the enforcer, standing on the outside, and with me on commentary, the commissioner of NLW, for now at least. No, 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 you don't mean for now. I am going to be the commissioner because I'm going to beat Kenny Omega at WrestleMania, and right now, Triple H is beating down Drew McIntyre. Well, Drew McIntyre just got superplexed off the top rope, and you see here, wrenching on the headlock is Triple H, Triple H's first match is taking over as the EVP of NLW and look out a back suplex Triple H my man he's been in situations like this before and you see there a beautiful spine buster by my buddy and Conor McGregor taunting McIntyre right now as Triple H sets up for the pedigree this is it baby oh but McIntyre rings the arm and a headbutt to the game. And holding his head. He's holding his head, but he better be careful because Triple H can turn this around in an instant. Oh my goodness, and well, I hate to say it, Sean, but you're right. Because he just turned the Claymore into the figure four. Woo, just like my boy, the Nature Boy. A beautifully executed figure four. And he is wrenching on it now. McIntyre is nowhere to go, it seems. But he reverses the pressure. And now all the pressure on the legs of Triple H. Oh man, that's not good. But I'll tell you something. Drew McIntyre, he is a hell of an athlete. I'll give him that. But against the game, I'm not so sure. Well, your boss just got... Oh, he is your boss too. Yeah, for now. Maybe Stone Cold will win at WrestleMania. How about that? I don't think that's going to happen. Well, regardless of future show DDT in the centre of the ring. You know what? I'm sensing a Claymore. What the hell you are? Hunter, get up! Triple H in trouble! Oh my god! 
But Triple H putting the referee in front of him like a coward. A coward. It was great strategy from Hunter. Triple H is on fire right now and you just can't handle that, can you? Because you see here, Conor McGregor stopping McIntyre in his tracks. Oh my god, and from behind. And now what is this? This isn't legal. Well, Conor McGregor is giving some discretion. Oh, don't tell me. This is how it's going to end. And now the enforcer. Oh! How did he kick out of that? I don't know, but he did. Oh, oh it's, it's fine. It's a, major, it's a minor hiccup. Triple H's going to get back in. This to go for the pedigree. No, and now a roll up. But Conor McGregor is not counting. He's tying his shoes. He's not even wearing shoes. And McIntyre is furious. You do not put your hands on an official McIntyre. Oh, and a low blow from Triple H. Oh, I suppose he didn't see it, did he? No, he didn't. There's the pedigree, baby. One, two, and... What the hell? It's CM Punk. CM Punk choking out Conor McGregor. And now, hey, where the hell are you going? And Shawn Michaels has left the commentary desk to hand to replace that sledgehammer. What was that about? What do you mean? I mean, you're helping him out to cheat. No, 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 I am not helping him cheat. Triple H doesn't need my help, but he's going to slaughter him. Just like I'm going to slaughter Kenny on me. Oh, oh, my goodness gracious me. Wait in my lap. Kenny Omega is back. And a Claymore. And McIntyre in for the cover. And he's done it. And Kenny Omega and Shawn Michaels fighting out of the building. McIntyre beats Triple H. Oh, but from behind, Brian Danielson and Kevin Owens and Adam Cole. Team NLW laying out Drew McIntyre. And here comes Moxley. And now the two teams who will compete at WrestleMania for supremacy and for control of NLW and Metal are fighting it out. And look at this! Metal Wrestling has arrived! And John Cena and MGF brawling. The ring is filled with NLW and metal wrestling wrestlers fighting out here. The Stone Cold Steve Austin has arrived here in Norfolk. The president of metal wrestling making a beeline for the president of NLW. And Austin being down Triple H. But the numbers are very much on the side of NLW here. And Metal Wrestling being beaten down. We need a hero. Look at this here. The Good Brothers beating up the Kings of Wrestling in the backstage area. And My God, it's the Hangman! He's here! Meanwhile, the action still in the ring! Backstage is going! Chaotic and crazy and booted in the door! The hangman's here! Oh man, this crowd! This crowd at a fever pitch for the hometown man! NLW being the hell out of Metal Wrestling here. And here comes the Cowboy. And the final hour. He's shown up for a battle. And Hangman Page has arrived. The crowd in Norfolk going crazy for the hometown kid. And the slutter from Buck 
Sean Lariat. And NLW on the back foot as Hangman Page saves the day. At WrestleMania, it will be a turning point in professional wrestling. If NLW wins, metal wrestling is our business. But if metal wins, Triple H and the oppressive regime is gone. Who will win at WrestleMania?